In today's video, I'll show you how to use calendars as a way to save lots of time when you're creating more complicated exceptions to your schedules. Calendars are especially useful when you have an event that will occur many times in the future and when those special events affect multiple schedules. It even works when the schedules are affected differently or when those schedules have different types. So it can be a huge time saver for those big complicated exceptions. So first, we're going to talk about an example of a building holiday where the entire building would be shut down. Let's go through that example. So let's go through the example of a building holiday. We'll shut down the entire building and it's something that'll happen many times throughout the year. So we could click on the schedules that we want to change, go to create an exception, and we could then pick the days during the year that we wanted to shut down the schedule and repeat that process for every day that we were shutting down the building and for each type of schedule that we needed to do. But instead, you can see we have this option for a calendar instead of a single date or a recurrence. A calendar is just a list of dates, but if we look, we don't have any calendars created yet. So let's go take care of that. Back on the schedules page here, I'm gonna click the button at the top called Create Calendar. Now we can create this. First, I'm gonna give this calendar a name. And a short description so that I can identify it later. Now I can start adding my days. We are going to set up the entire 2022 holiday calendar, starting with, uh, in the United States, we celebrate Memorial Day. We could add a single date in May of 2022, but since Memorial Day always happens every year, we can use this yearly recurrence and set this up as the last Monday of May every year. And now this will work every single day. Every single year for Memorial Day, we will be unoccupied. Let's continue. The next day we want to set up is Independence Day in the United States. That's on the 4th of July. Again, we can use this yearly recurrence and set this up and it will work every year into the future. Every 4th of July, we will be unoccupied. We can repeat this for our Labor Day on the first Monday of September, add, and for Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November. And we'll add that as well. Then towards the end of the year, uh, we start to get some holidays that don't occur the same every year. So in 2022, we're going to have the day after Thanksgiving is November 25th. We'll add that. And we're going to have a floating winter holiday on December 23rd. And so we will add that. Once we've finished adding our dates, we can click the Save button. Now notice all I've done so far is create the calendar and I can see the list of dates that I've added. Many of those dates will work every single year. But now we need to make the exceptions themselves. So we can go back to our schedules page. We'll start with our HVAC schedules. I'll pick our South Wing and our North Wing schedules. Now, when I click Create Exception, I can select my calendar as Building Holidays, 
Now I can add the events. What do we want to happen on these building holidays? Well, we want to go unoccupied at midnight and carry that event through all day. So no other events besides being unoccupied at midnight. And we'll finish. And we will also change the chiller plant schedule. So we'll choose the chiller plant schedule and click create exception. I can choose the exact same calendar and add my event. In the case of the chiller plant schedule, we want to make sure we are commanding the chiller plant off at midnight and having that carry through all day. Now let's check on our holidays. If we move ahead to 2022 and check on Memorial Day, the last Monday in May, we can see we have the red border around our three schedules. Our chiller plant will be off and our HVAC schedules will be unoccupied. Now we can check another date in November. We'll check Thanksgiving. We should see the exact same thing. Our schedules are off and unoccupied. Beautiful. But the beauty of calendars comes when we want to make a change later. Let's say throughout the year we decide to add December 30th as another holiday. If I check that date right now, December 30th, 2022, we're running the normal schedule. It's a Friday. We're going to run the normal schedule right now. But I can go to my calendar. I can edit my building holidays. And I can add December 30th, 2022. There it is. And when I hit update, this will automatically be reflected in all of the schedules that I've already changed. So now when I check December 30th, 2022, our chiller plant is off and our HVAC schedules are unoccupied. So hopefully you can see how using calendars can save you a lot of time, especially when using it for a building holiday where you might be closing the entire building. It's also great for other special events like a sports event or community groups that might be using the space after hours where it'll affect more than one schedule, but it's a repeated event that happens many times during the year. Hope you found it valuable and can save yourself lots of time. Thanks.